They just don't give up on the common sense. I don't know where the rest of the country is. After listening to the Republican debates for the president, I thought I was in the land of the Wizard of Oz in terms of what they thought was good for our great nation. This is a nation that is built on the middle class, not built on 2% of the people who are blessed with more money than they can ever dream of spending, not based on the unfortunate that are hungry, that uh, need health care, that are homeless, that, that are without jobs. It's based on the dreams of people who have come here to believe that they can do better for themselves and for their kids. These are the people that have disposable income. These are the people that purchase. These are the people that go to the local stores. And if we don't have them active, they can't buy. If they can't buy, people can't sell. If they can't sell, they can't hire. And that's what employment is all about. It's more than just money. It's the self-esteem of being able to sit down with your family and ask whether you got to get a new car, whether you got to get a better home, whether or not your kids can go to a better school. What is it that these Republicans are drinking that truly believe that these are the people that built this great country that has to be held hostage while they fulfill their commitment to less than 2% of the population? They're wrong morally. They're wrong physically, and I only hope this. I hope that the American people that listen to us, listen to the Progressive Caucus, can go to their churches, go to their synagogues, go to their mosques, and get them to understand that what we are talking about on every one of their holy days, they talk about it. Now is the time for them to ask, do we as a nation, as we support capitalism, as the best economic system that there is, do we still at the same time as a nation have to treat the lesser of our brothers and sisters with that same amount of respect? And I don't care what religion it is, it seems to me that the hungry, the aged, the children, and all of those who have been disenfranchised, all that are vulnerable, that this is also a spiritual movement that we're talking about. Mm. So let me thank the leadership because giving up is so easy to do. Laying back saying let them work it out in Congress is the easy thing to do. But one day, one day your kids and grandkids was asking, when they were driving the country over the cliff, what were you doing? So thank God for the, literally thank God for the Progressive Caucus, and I'm just so proud to be a member. You keep pushing, we keep responding. Yes, sir. Thank you. Great, Charles. Wonderful. Wonderful.